how to set up uh, ESP8266 node MCU with Arduino IDE for that purpose I already have uh, Arduino IDE installed in my Windows uh, App Store and uh, I will explore all the options uh, to connect the Arduino IDE with the ESP8266 so, so for that purpose I will go to the tool option where I will have uh, all the package uh, associated with the ESP8266 so for that uh, right now I will go to the board option uh, because I have to find out the ESP8266 there uh, to have uh, all the uh, functionalities those are available in ESP8266 but right now uh, there is no ESP8266 uh, packages installed in the uh, board manager so uh, without the board uh, the, without the ESP8266 package it is not possible to uh, set up or connect the uh, ESP8266 node MCU uh, with the Arduino IDE so for that purpose I have to install the I have to install the ESP8266 package library package uh, from the wave resources to my Arduino IDE so for that purpose just go to the file option and uh, then go to the preference here uh, you have to just uh, put the source URL that uh, from where the Arduino ID will download the ESP8266 packages um, for the interface. So right now I am pasting here the URL from where the ESP8266 uh, packages are uh, available. So this is the URL. So right now just uh, is okay yes done so right now what i have to do i have to go to the tool option and again go to the board option and uh, go to the board manager so right now you will have all the libraries uh, those are available uh, for the arduino ide so from those packages you have to uh, install the esp8266 package uh, so for that purpose just use esp Oh, okay so right now the ESP8266 library is available there so just what you have to do you have to install it so right now uh, I already have one ESP8266 package installed in my PC that's why it is saying uh, remove so let's have a from here you can choose the version whatever version uh, you want to install so right now just uh, click on the install button so it will install all the ESP8266 uh, library modules and the Arduino IDE uh, so for that uh, right now you have to we have to wait uh, um, as the download is progressing uh, so just uh, wait for a few seconds uh, then it will be ready okay so right now uh, the ESP8266 is a uh, package library installed uh, in my PC so later you can update it and uh, you can also choose the desired version okay so let's uh, go to the tool option again uh, so find out uh, if any update is there or not uh, so okay again go to the boot option so right now uh, okay if you go through the board options now uh, here the generic ESP8266 modules uh, are available so from these modules you can choose the appropriate one so for myself I am choosing the node MCU 1.0 ESP12e module that is uh, available in my kit uh, so just select the proper node MCU module and you may choose uh, any generic ESP8266 module also depending on your requirement whatever kit you have so for my purpose I am choosing this node MC 1.0 so right now it is available after installing the packages uh, from the library it is available so just I am selecting the node MC 1.0 again go to the tool option to find out uh, if uh, any update is there or not so right now you can check that uh, the node MC pack uh, in, is already there that is whatever option you choose in all the select uh, parameters are available right now so upload speed is also 11,000 uh, it's an okay 115 to 00, 00 CPU frequency is 80 megahertz that means all the options uh, features were automatically selected from the node MC 1.0 uh, 
kit that is available in the library function okay now again a uh, few things are there that we have to do so right now it is not possible uh, the id right now it's okay the arduino id can uh, can uh, i didn't recognize the kit uh, but okay let's uh, have some code uh, and uh, just uh, I want to run those codes in my node MCU kit uh, node MCU kit so that uh, we can uh, do some projects on that so the one vital thing is that uh, the port associated with the Arduino IDE and with the ESP8266 right now it is disabled okay so just uh, ch change it to serial port and uh, again go there CDL is okay fine now the port option is disabled here so all the things are fine and uh, it will work but the port through which the node NCO ESP 8266 will communicate to the Arduino IDE uh, through the USB cable it is uh, disabled that means no identification uh, of ports uh, is done till now that means we have to just uh, enable this port so for that purpose we have to um, download some drivers those are associated with the port that means uh, using that driver uh, we can uh, enable the port and that is the UART port updation uh, you have to install those drivers in the um, windows uh, system so that it can have uh, the port enabled so right now I will find out uh, the port option uh, from the properties and if I will go there and uh, I will find the device manager uh, of my PC and after getting the device manager if I will go through the all the options then you will find that okay one of the UART pitch controller don't have the proper driver that's why it is showing uh, some error message and uh, for the, this reason the port option that is associated with the node NCU and that will connect the Arduino IDE is uh, not enabled there so for that purpose we have to just uh, update the UART driver in a Windows PC uh, so that it can recognize the port and uh, through which the communication will take place and the Arduino ID will enable uh, the UART port okay so right now uh, I can do one thing that is I can update the driver from here and uh, okay the driver is available in my PC so I will choose this one now it is available in my desktop so I will go there okay uh, this is available in this folder so I will choose the x64 okay so let's have a result yes again uh, the driver is I think not there in the folder so I will directly install the driver from my desktop folder so wait for a few seconds Yes, that is here. Six sixty four package. Okay. It will take some, yes. Right now the driver is updated. Uh, I think now I will have the proper driver that is uh, needed to communicate with the Arduino port. Okay, so right now you can see that the port option is enabled. So from here you have to choose the communication three. So after installing or updating the driver. Uh, the port version is enabled and right now the Arduino ID can communicate with the node MCU uh, so that's all uh, through these procedures you can set up your node MCU having ESP8266 
um, with, with, you can set up the ESP266 with the Arduino IDE.